Flashback Robin has finally arrived in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team and in this video today we are of course going to review him. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team then check out the link in the description igvault.com and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So he comes out as an 88 overall and he only actually requires one squad. It's an 85 overall with one in form and one player from Robin's native country. So uh, yeah, not a bad requirement to be honest. I don't think that's all that bad for an 88 overall. So this is going to be the squad that I'm going to be submitting to complete him. It is just a full Serie A sad which matches up with the overall rating requirement. So I'm happy to submit that. And now that is done, we do indeed have an 88 rated Flashback Robin heading into the club. Now, if I'm being honest, I was actually expecting this around Team of the Year time and I thought it was going to be like 90 plus rated, but um, EA have gone quite early with it and I'm not complaining. The card seems decent value and it hopefully performs well in matches. So this is the squad we're going to be using Robin in. A nice little hybrid. In game, we are going to play 4-3-3, but we're also going to play 4-3-2-1 because that's obviously where Robin's going to be at his best, where we can get him into shooting positions. Um, obviously, he does have a very limited weak foot. He's got a two-star weak foot and he's left footed on the right edge, which definitely isn't ideal, nor are the medium low wear crates. Five-star skills, though, is uh, obviously a nice bonus to this card. Plenty of traits on show, though, which is uh, obviously quite nice. Outside the foot, finesse shot and team player and also injury prone as well. And um, Before we get into the stats, let's discuss some chem styles. Okay, so hopping on to footbin with the basic chem style, as you can see, he is a 90 rated right sided player. And um, with finisher, it's a bit more of the same. And with dead eye, that's where he gets boosted the most. So I think that's the chem style we ultimately are going to end up going for. I um, don't think engine would be a bad option for him either, uh, nor would hunter. But um, I think we are going to go with that dead eye choice. So, now let's talk about stats. First of all, shooting looks very, very good. 87 finishing, 88 shot power. Both of them obviously going to be boosted by the chem style as well. Very, very nice to see. Dribbling looks awesome too, aside from that reaction stat. Really good balance of 92, really nice ball control of 91. And uh, good in-game dribbling and composure ratings also of 92. Passing looks solid. Um, 82 short passing, which will be boosted to 97 in-game thanks to the chem style. And uh, not a bad cross in rating of 80 but to be honest I'm probably not going to cross with him all that much um, and with that in mind using the dead eye cam style probably isn't the smartest thing now that I think about it because I'm not I, I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna be crossing with this guy too much I want to test out that shooting because I think he's gonna be a goal scoring winger and because of that we're actually gonna put hunter cam style on him to uh, give him a nice boost to that shooting department and also to uh, give his pace you know the max potential it will be 99 pace in game in the comments below let me know what chem style you would use on this guy so uh yeah all in all looks a nice item physical stats look okay as well good stamina of 85 strength of 74 is quite nice but aggression of 46 isn't ideal but um all in all looks like a nice card and it's currently costing around 140k coin to foot bin so not a bad price tag either so let's get into some games and let's see how this robin plays okay then heading into the game and we are up against this it's uh a very interesting side, some really good players in it, but he's got Mendy at centre-back. Um, I presume he's just going to swap in with Mukiele and uh, create a very, very OP backline. Awa, finds Robin in a bit of space. Can he get round Kunde? He actually has. He's, he's done really well too. Like, I completely lost my train of thought while speaking there. Um, Robin with an excellent turn of pace. Really good balance and strength to hold off Kunde as well. And then a very nice finish off the left foot to make it 1-0 early on. What the hell has just happened? Why didn't my keeper react there? Robin links up with Mbappe here. Now here's an opportunity for him to get on the inside. We're going to cut back and try to go off that left, but I think my opponent read that rather well. Nice pass into the path of Robin there. We've now got a bit of space to run into. Can he get through this gap? No, Mucky Ellie just edges him there. Robin into the path of Mbappe. Is he onside? He must be because it's play on and Mbappe has tied it up right before the break. Well, half time, we are unfortunately 3 2 down and um, yeah, it feels harsh to be honest. I really don't feel like my opponent's much better than me and uh, I know it sounds bitter, but I feel like if I had my proper weekend league team, I would be very much ahead in this game. But um, alas, I don't have that team and we're going to have to make do. Hopefully, in the second half, we can make a nice comeback. Oh, ah. Uh, Finds the pass to Robin, who's got a lot of space to run into now. Adama in pursuit. Can we hop around him and try and get the ball on the inside? We do. Ariola stops. 
Okay, so that first game that we played, we did indeed lose, which is uh, obviously you know, unfortunate. But um, the second, like, well, the last 20 minutes of the game um, actually has gone a bit weird, like it's real corrupted. So unfortunately, not able to bring you guys that. So let's just quickly get into another match. Here's a chance. Robin's making a nice run as well in behind. Oh, good tackle by a towel. Here's a chance. And Bafi threads it into Robin, who's up against the towel here. Can we get around him with just pace? Looks like we can. Robin's feeling quick, but that's a great tackle by the defender to deny us the cross. Here's a chance. Robin, great first time pass to Mbappe, who put. Oh, we should be scoring that. Should be scoring that. I was literally going to say to Mbappe, puts it into the back of net, but he didn't. Oh, here's Robin. Time to show his pace now. He's going to come on the inside. Can he find the right pass? For Awa, it's a great pass. Awa with the finesse, and there is the equalizer. Fantastic wing play from Robin there. Making some space, coming back inside, and making the most of that stronger left foot with a nice pass into Awa to finish. Oh, it's the one more chance before half time. Awa's got the ball out to Robin, who's got players in pursuit. What are we going to do here? Robin, can he get the ball to the box? Oh, Mole just does enough, but Robin wins it back, but then he's wiped out by the keeper, and that will be half time. Well, for most part, it wasn't the most interesting first half. As you can see, we have, uh, yeah, we've been pretty limited on our chances. So hopefully, we can create a bit more in the second half. Oh wow! Into the feet of Robin. Can he open up some space for himself? He's going to try to. Goes for the finesse. Oh, unlucky! He's hit the bar. To Mbappe. Mbappe returns the favour on the inside. Robin puts it across the box. There's a chance for Bamba, who gives us the lead in this game. Great player once more. The whole attack linking up very, very nicely. Robin tries to get on the inside, does so quite nicely and sets up our half for the shot, but to Stegen pulls off a nice stop. Bit of chaos at the back here. Oh, interesting ball into the path of Arjun Robin, who is to finesse and should have scored, but never mind because Mbappe's finished it. Lacked the power in that shot for whatever reason, but um, it's created a goal, so I won't complain too much. 4-2 lead heading into the final few minutes of this game. Just a one last attack in this game. I see that run from Robin getting on the outside of Atal. Now there's a chance. Are we going to deliver it into the box? Yes, we are. Right-footed. It's a good ball as well. And Bamba is very unfortunate. Gets his head to it, but hits the bar. But that is the final action of the game. We've got ourselves a nice 4-2 win against a very good opposition, which for the most part stopped most of our chances. But um, we were clinical with our... Uh, opportunities in the second half. Right then, after a couple more matches with Arjun Robbins flashback item in the team, what is the verdict on the card? Um, very good item to be honest. I really enjoyed using it and it's one of them items where pretty much what you see is what you get, especially in regards to negatives. Simply put, that two star weak foot is a bit of a killer. Um, if this guy had a better weak foot, I think this card would be absolutely fantastic. I really do think it could be top tier, um, but he's so one footed and it's, it's kind of hard to use him in a way, especially in champs against high level opposition because they know you're going to go onto his stronger left foot because if you go on off his right, you're just not going to have too much success. So they're going to force you onto his right as much as they can. But um, his left foot is brilliant. It really, really was for me. And as I say, I think this card can be fantastic in the right hands as long as you're okay knowing you are going to have to always go off his left, which you probably already knew with any Robin card anyway. So let's break things down. Pierce, for me, felt quick. He felt very, very quick, especially with his initial touch, which was awesome. And that's definitely something you want to hear about. A winger can definitely break down the wing, which is great. And um, I thought his passing, for the most part, was very, very solid. And um, obviously, we switched to the Hunter Camp style, so he didn't get a passing boost. But I thought his passing was all right. Short passing was good enough. And his deliveries were actually very nice, even off his right foot, which was uh, a bit surprising. Well, let me rephrase that. Occasionally, his right foot put in a good ball. It wasn't just a consistent thing, unfortunately, because... Uh, uh, yeah, that would have been nice. Um, shooting, I thought was very, very nice with this card. Really good finesse shots, as you would expect with a Robin card. Also good shot power as well. And the guy can certainly score from distance too. He is a goal scorer. And positionally, also very strong as well. Made some really good runs in behind for me. And that made it pretty easy to get this guy on at the ball, which is great. And as you can imagine, his dribbling does feel very, very nice. Just on occasions, didn't feel as quick as others to react, which was a bit of a shame. But when on the ball, does feel quite nice and fluid in possession, which is very very pleasing finally physically how is he um his strength's all right uh, he can hold off some players but center backs are just going to dominate him and so are some of the high level fullbacks but he's got really good balance and rarely ever gets pushed to the ground so even if he does get knocked off the ball there is a chance that he's going to be able to win it back because he's going to stay on his feet and he'll get another go but um yeah ultimately strength not too amazing and his aggression isn't the best either so he doesn't fight for the ball as much as others stamina held up quite nicely though which was quite good and uh, aerial 
aerially sorry and um, he's just pretty average to be honest you actually won a, a decent uh, like a fair few amount of aerial battles but um his head and actually didn't feel anything too special all in all then what's the verdict on the card very good item just very one footed which is unfortunate as i said at the start if this card had a better week foot i definitely would have rated it higher is he worth it for 140k i actually think that price is absolutely fine is it insane value definitely not is it terrible value absolutely not um 140k seems fair to me and if you're fan if you're a fan of robin or the teams he's played for um i definitely do recommend picking this card up it's just a very nice item to have and uh, definitely could have some use, especially with that beast of a left foot. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 88 rated flashback Robin. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like on it. Comment below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.